you got to remember, it's been a while since Michael Conti's been to Victory Lane, and you mentioned it. He's going to fight for this win, but he went a little high down in one and two. The one of Mike, or Ryan Luza made some time up. Conti still has about two car lengths or so on the one of Luza, but he can't afford to lose any more time. You better believe if the one car does get up to the back bumper or does get side by side with Conti, we're going to see a show. Remember a couple of weeks ago back at Pocono Raceway where everything went crazy in the last couple laps we had a couple of the leaders, a couple of the front runners take each other out on the last lap. We might very well see that again. Uh, save your seat. It might get a little bit crazy here. This time by five laps to go. If a caution comes out inside of the final five laps, the field running order at the time of the caution would determine the winner. So if you're loser, there is no waiting to the last lap to make it pretty. It is go time on the bumper. Five laps to go from New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Conti, Luza. Luza going to look to the inside. The five now deviating from his line went to the bottom to protect. And we saw him perhaps a couple of weeks ago on a different surface and a different track on dirt racing. We saw a race uh, unlike we'd seen before, a drag race to the absolute finish of the line. I've seen a couple of drag races so far. Of course, that hasn't meant anything uh, so far, of course. Uh, is when we get to that final lap, will Ryan Michael Luza be able to drag race Michael Conti? Will that inside line still hold? Everyone's been single file for long enough. I'm not sure if perhaps the heat is going to be there. Luza, he's way on the outside. He cut way to the inside is this perhaps where he pulls alongside no he ends up losing a little bit of traction as they had their way towards corner number three last season the five of conti was one turn away from a checkered flag at watkins glen he got a bump into the tires and he didn't get the race here comes loser bump at a turn number four side by side three laps to go and now the one has the preferred position tight into corner number one the five gonna get forced up the hill loser trying to get by he got him for the race lead and the five of Michael Conti gives him a glancing blow along the side, but now it's Luza up in front. Can Conti get back to his back bumper? It might be easier said than done right now. The five trying to chase down the one, but that's all it was. Ryan Luza had to muscle his way to get by the five. He used the bumper, and then in the next corner, he kind of shoved him up a little bit and got the lead position. He's only got two laps to make sure it happens and try to lock down his third win of the season. No, oh, by the way, Alfala's closing in on Conti. He might not get there for position number two, but we'll see if the two car can get up on the wheel here. It was about as well executed on behalf of the one as you could guess. Caution, flag, flies. Any last hope for Michael Conti to challenge for the race lead are shut down. White flag does come out but it is going to be alongside the yellow. And as I said at five to go, there's no guarantee that you get all of those final five laps to race this thing out. Luza made sure not to wait until the last minute or caution to flag it involving Duval and Ottinger in quarter number two. Check things up just about 15 seconds shy of the white flag. And in all fairness, I don't think Michael Conti had enough to get back to him, but it's going to leave him wondering, what if I just had one or two more shots at him? But for Ryan Luza, going to pick up on earlier in the season, it went back to back in the second and third races on the year, winning at Las Vegas and at Auto Club. Comes into tonight towards the bottom of the top eight, the championship. He will get win number three on 2017. Ryan Luza, your winner from New Hampshire. An exciting duel between these two guys, uh, lap after lap, and ended up going to Ryan Michael Luza at the, uh, the results of a little bit of a bump and run off of four, exactly what you would want to see here at a mile long track like this, uh, where no cars really had uh, any sort of damage. That's what you wanted to see. And end up going to Ryan Michael Luce. We have to remember he was involved with that incident uh, earlier on, uh, pretty much halfway through the race with, I believe it was Ottinger. Um, and uh, that was a fairly scary moment. And he managed to recover that. And now he is going to victory lane.